Hey guys, I just thought I should do an update. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a live stream or anything like that. And the last few days it's been on my mind that maybe I should do more vlogging. And just, you know, it's, it's hard to give a voice to where I'm at in life and what's going on around me because I sort of feel like, oh, nobody cares about that or that's not what people want to hear or, I overthink my situation and then I realize I'm not really ashamed of what I'm doing I'm not ashamed of where I'm at or why like even though I can't explain all the details about it um, and there are people who will fill the spaces with whatever negative things they want to um, it's still detrimental in the long run for me not to um, share and just not to include my patrons or chronicle my journey. I feel like very excited about what's happening in my life and what I'm doing and what I plan and I feel like it would motivate me a lot more and keep me on track. Do daily updates, show everybody what I'm doing and what I'm planning. Um, so yeah, um, I've had my daughter here for the last couple days with me. <laughs> this is like the third week where um, she stayed with me. <laughs> and um, I gotta take out the trash. Like, look at this. Our daughter pulled out this fuzzball out of our hairbrush today. Oh. Isn't that just absolutely disgusting? Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm just going to expose you all to my reality. <laughs> and um, this is my this is my 3D printer that some of you have seen, and that's my filter. So um. There's like, there's quite a few other people in this building with me um, where I rent my office and I don't want anyone to be exposed to carcinogens at all. So um, it comes with this little filter, but I don't believe that that takes the actual carcinogens out of the air. But this one um, I did some reading on and I feel like that is decent. I feel like this is a good filter. So I think I do have to set up the fume hood for this, for it to vent out here. But uh, this is a one-way thingy. I had some foam on hand that, I, you know, fortunately just fits exactly in the window. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I want to start... Sorry, my filming sucks. I don't have a selfie stick or anything, and I'm not used to doing this. So I'm sorry that my face is probably out of the camera and stuff a lot. But, um... So I have, uh, I've been planning on working on the Iguanodon model that is for Dino Hoarders and Paleo Arc, and I, I actually do want that to be one of my first prints, but I've been focusing on my store right now because I really need to make rent. Actually, my rent is due in a couple of days, and I, I, I don't have the money right now. Um, so I'm, I'm just being honest. This is where I'm really at, and I haven't been, uh, I haven't been late on my rent yet, maybe like one day before. So, um getting down to the wire um just being honest you know and um i started some add meds uh i don't know if you know like plan to be on this forever because i've made it this far i've made it to 37 without add medication but i i thought to try it i had a terrible experience as a teenager absolutely awful i lost my creativity for years but from what i understand the medications nowadays they're not as heavy a doses they're more refined I feel like less of a guinea pig now than I did back then um, so atomoxetine that's what I'm trying and I think I feel it sometimes um, I do feel a little more relaxed and a little more focused a little less anxious because I feel like I was distracted by a sort of looming dread about all the things because I have too many things to do all at once and I feel like when I'm doing one I'm panicking about the other and then I just end up locked you know um, I just feel frozen uh, paralyzed like a deer in headlights you know it's a it's an awful feeling and I do feel like this is helping um, so far I've only been on it for a little bit and I've missed a couple pills because life's been hectic but um, Maybe it's a placebo, but I do I do feel like I can focus better with this. And I've been trying just to sort of talk myself out of that paralysis. 
and pick the next thing any of the next things because you know nobody will agree with me about what the next thing I'm supposed to be doing is well the, as soon as I open up to somebody about what I'm doing they're like well why aren't you doing that because well, I need to do everything oh my God, I gotta start somewhere so I I wasn't talking about my situation very much and I you know I or I would freeze up and then people would feel guilty for asking but it was it was sort of me just panicking it's not that the question is the problem and how people react to my answer isn't my problem either you know what I mean I just need to relax and focus on my goals in the order that I can do them and um, not be ashamed about that and work on doing better each time I learn or try something you know um, so anyways yeah this is my computer setup um, and it's kind of jerry-rigged because I used to have a stand for my monitor and that is still at the camper where I was living. And um, anyway, I'm gonna clean this office. It got a little messy again because, you know, when my daughter stays here and when I'm running around uh, traveling and stuff, because I have been on a few um, little mini road trips, I'm saying yes to life too, you know? I'm, I'm just doing things that I'm only, I don't know when I'll have another chance to do them. And, um, you're sweet, Eva. Um, but I, I'm just trying to uh, give myself enough joy to sort of break my paralysis too, and not with substances, of course. Um, so far, fortunately, I haven't been tempted to just go get a bottle of wine and get myself trashed here at this office. You know, like it's it's not been that kind of environment for me. And I don't really um, like but it's been keeping me. Uh, this has been the best most stressful, most difficult summer of my life. And I feel like I'm finally living in ways that I wasn't allowing myself to live before. Whoa, and, um, and y yes, uh, the underworld. I will talk about that in a future uh, update. But um, anyway, no, it's fine. Tonight, uh, I'll try to finish my, some more of my models because I want to get renders of my products up on my store. As soon as there is something people can actually see to purchase, then I can, you know, put out my posters and my business cards. I was going to hang them up all around town. And I, I want to have, an, you know, do an Instagram post of my first prints. Uh, what sort of things am I printing? What sort of things is my store going to have? Um, I'm thinking decor stuff that I'm really passionate about um, and based on a lot of the models I've already done I was thinking of some like maybe wall mountable koi fish they could be swimming in formation black and white put them in like a yin-yang pattern some cool metallic paints and stuff um, and I have the materials to make molds I went and bought everything off the off of Amazon that I need to get my business started I maxed out a credit card to do that it was worth it um, there are a lot of awesome creative businesses around here this area has brought so many um, just new demographics and buyers and markets and styles and there's a lot of new homes around here they're gonna need pretty things in them <laughs> and um, yeah I, I, I'm really inspired by organic texture and you know living things and um, organic, just organic designs. I like, you know, um, the shapes of different fungus and fractals and, um, you know, uh, reaction diffusion stuff. So I, I, I play around a lot with neural style transfer with my own paint pores and fluid art that it, it creates so many fun textures and I've been making 3D shapes out of those. Um, some of you might have seen my living wall so I was thinking that would be some really neat fine art. I could print it in sections and then piece it together into one big you know three-dimensional thing and maybe make a plaster cast of it so make I can make a whole bunch of duplicates and sell those as like some kind of fine art. I feel like there's a gallery around here that might like that. Uh, there's a lot of things I can do. I was thinking some reptiles, scaly things, floral patterns. So um, 
yeah, my store has like five different items, five-ish, that I plan on printing soon. And um, I'm going to do lots of tiny figurines. Probably at first I'll start with really small stuff and do one big model that I can cast and then sell those. Uh, and, and then start evol like going bigger with some of my other uh, creatures and designs. So I'll start small with like little versions of the koi fish and the snakes and things that I've been doing. As soon as I get my, my store like selling some things, I get my printer printing, then I will focus a little more on dino hoarders again. I do still plan on working on dino hoarders, but it's going to be in the direction of more creatures. The MOAR more creatures version of the mod because Wildcard has, you know, mostly TLC things. They, are, you know, uh, Ascended has been a pretty good TLC, but the creatures need, do at least need some new skins. And, um, but I, I want to focus more on my map and uh, original content and creatures that I can actually sell the designs of that are my designs. And with original mod creatures, that's possible. But with their designs, I can't do that. And I need to kill two birds with one stone. I need to be more productive. So the the straight TLCs in you know trying to go for wild cards designs, I'm not going to be focusing on that anymore as much. Um, I'll try to do more of like their classic design versions as I'm working on more creatures. But more creatures is going to become my front burner Dino Hoarders project. And... Uh, Basically, each of these creatures that I'm making is going to replace a vanilla creature on my map when I release that. And I've got the terrain almost done. I've been working on this map since 2017, actually, but nobody knew that. I was kind of working on it behind the scenes while I was working on Dino Hoarders because I'm very passionate about terrain and game environment art. And that was something I actually just wanted to do, and I was working on it in my spare time. So I'm going to be working on more creatures, which is creatures for the map, and then I'm going to be working on the map. But right now, I'm focusing on my store because I need to pay my rent. And I support, I, I appreciate any support that my patrons can give because, yeah, uh, <laughs> this, this whole office costs me 575 a month. And that's just a blank wall I'm showing you. There, there's a corner with actual stuff. Um, <laughs> it costs me uh, a lot more than I'm earning from Patreon. And, you know, I've broken away from support systems that I had because I, it was not a good environment. It was not a good situation for me and, or my kids. And without getting into more details, uh, that is why I, I really am going to just try to do this. And I have worked at, um, you know in a bakery. I've tried, you know, the nine to five thing, but I'm not earning, it doesn't pay me enough for the hours that I have to spend doing it. And this makes more sense. I'm taking a chance and trying to start my own business and believe in my art and believe in my, my, my ideas and myself. So I deeply appreciate all the support it, and it helps my family. Uh, providing for my kids is my number one goal right now. And Patreon, it would be great if that, if it could do that. Um, I hope I can keep doing creative things and putting that on my front burner. And I hope, my hope is that Patreon will, you know, at least pay for this place. And then I can put a lot more time and energy into, you know, the, the mods and the game design stuff that I want to do. Um, but yeah, and my, my ultimate goal is to get like a three bedroom apartment, uh, for me and my kids. That would be my dream come true right now. And I was hoping that my business and my art could do that. And that's what I'm trying to do. And there are people who would say that's a dumb idea or a selfish idea or a lazy idea, but it's not, it's really not the lazy thing to do. And I've spent the last decade well over 10,000 hours in ZBrush practicing and learning all this myriad of software to be able to do the things that I'm trying to do now. And this is my leap of faith. I mean, why not try right now?
and while this fire is under me, while this situation is unfolding. And um, so I just, I really appreciate your support and it means a lot. So thanks for tuning in and I will try to be updating a lot more often. Um, just feel free to list ideas and suggestions, like what kind of exclusive content you guys would like as patrons as well. But again, I appreciate you so much. Thanks.